Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottman from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to remove some under the nose issues in Lightroom. But first, please make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. There were a lot of tears at the beginning of this session, which led to this. I'm going to begin by adding Susie's favorite preset with lens correction to this image. Let's look at the before and after. That looks great, but you know what? I'm not actually sure if I want those lens corrections on or off. So there's some natural vignetting that's occurring. I think I'm actually going to leave it off because it felt a little bit heavy to me going to pull down on the exposure and maybe just warm it up a touch, but I feel like that looks pretty good. I went a little too far with that exposure. Okay, next I'm going to zoom in by clicking on this image, but as you can see from the navigator window, we zoomed in at a one to one ratio. And I really want to show you what's going on with highlights and shadows. So I'm going to zoom in at three to one. Trust me, I'm not a pixel peeper, but for this particular fix, I needed to do this. Okay, so we have some clear leakage that we need to take care of, but really it's just a highlight. That's what we're looking at. So I'm going to press Q on my keyboard in order to access the spot removal tool. I'm going to make sure that it's set to heal and I'm gonna leave the opacity at 100 for now. We might have to turn that down a little bit. Let's make this brush a little bit smaller with the left bracket key. And what I'm going to do is just click and drag along the edge of the highlight and then allow Lightroom to grab a source. I don't like that source, so I'm going to pull over here. Can you see what's happened already? It has eliminated the highlight to shadow issue. Now we still have a shadow down here, but we've eliminated the highlight. So what I can do next, because you can stack these adjustments, is click and drag over that shadow line and Lightroom grabbed a source over there. Let's do that. And if I just press H to hide those overlays for a second so you can see, take a look at that adjustment turned off and then back on. Isn't that remarkable how we were, we were able to still maintain the integrity of the highlights and shadows, meaning we didn't make it look completely flat. So let's go ahead and do this side as well with the same kind of technique. The way I'm clicking and dragging is not uniform. I'm trying to eliminate the highlight first and then I come along the shadow line and do the same thing. I can press Q to drop that tool and look at the before and after. Of course, remembering we're zoomed in at three to one, so you're seeing every little pixel, but if we zoom back out and look at the before and after, I think that's remarkable. Now, her skin was a little bit flushed, so I think I would like to smooth that out a little bit as well. I'm going to press K on the keyboard in order to access my adjustment brush. I'm going to make sure that exposure is set to zero by double clicking it, saturation as well. I'm going to pull down on the clarity and the texture just a little bit. My flow, I'm going to bring down and I'm just going to brush over her chin and her cheeks and over the bridge of her nose and then make my brush a little bit smaller to go right under her nose just to smooth out any lines that maybe don't look right. Let's go ahead and bring down this texture a little bit more. And if you'd like to see what that adjustment does, we can turn off that adjustment and turn it back on. That might be hard to see on your screen. So let's go ahead and zoom in at a one to one ratio. And if I turn that off and then back on, you can see how that just smooths her skin out a little bit, not too much. I don't want to take that too far. I'm going to press K in order to drop that tool. And now I'm going to look at the overall before and after. Let's go ahead and press K again, because you know what I think I'd like to do is burn in those edges just a little bit. I didn't want the full lens correction, but I think I would like some burning in those edges. So I'm going to make my brush really large and my feather pretty big. 
and just kind of brush over some areas where I want to burn in just a little bit. That looks pretty good. K to drop that tool. Again, the backslash key to see the before and after. I think that looks amazing. I hope that you found this useful and that you can now remove any type of nose issue you may encounter. I'll see you in the next video.